Hello everyone, AZ Flyer here. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at the GPS ADV module from FR Sky. Uh, this is a nifty little GPS module that'll give you all kinds of cool telemetry like uh, air, well, ground speed, GPS speed is speed across the ground, uh, GPS altitude, coordinates, give you all kinds of really cool uh, GPS uh, tracking info that you can then use by plugging in your receiver into a computer and seeing all that data and uh, doing cool things like graphing it and seeing all kinds of information about your flight. Uh, so this is a nice add-on to any kind of airspeed sensors you might have, like airspeed or altitude, uh, because it gives you GPS speed, which is you know not susceptible to any kind of airspeed changes or anything like that. Uh, and then you can compare the two and see uh, how they're showing with each other and which you think is giving you the more accurate readings. So we're going to take a look at this module. We're going to install it and give it a try and see how it looks and feels. So uh, let's give it a go. Okay, so let's see what we have. Uh, comes in a simple little nifty package that's got everything in there you need to get it hooked up and going. So it's, you know, it's just a very, very simple hookup. We're going to go through the basic telemetry setups here in case you haven't seen that in any of the other videos. Um, but it comes with a a wire here to, to plug in. So if you need more than that, of course, you can always extend it. Um, an instruction uh, and information card here with the QR code for uh, manual and specifications, and then the sensor. And the sensor is pretty much um, pretty straightforward. You just got your, uh, they're, they're always good at giving you two sets of pins here. So you can daisy chain this. Um, if you have a whole series of sensors, uh, then you can just, all you need really is one channel on your receiver and then you can daisy chain this. You've got your two sets of uh, pins. You've got an LED light to show you're getting power. And then the sensor. Uh, now the thing to pay attention is it's got a sticker in here that says up. So this would need to be secured in your aircraft. So this is always pointing up. And I will tell you in the, the many times that I've flown this and experimented, I've found that if you do you spend a lot of time inverted or big uh, slow loops across the top where this thing will then turn upside down, uh, your telemetry is not going to be accurate at that point. I found I've gotten some pretty wonky telemetry when I spend a lot of time upside down. So I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you what it looks like in the computer. So just something to think about. That's why, you know, this is a complement to any kind of airspeed sensor that would be, uh, you know, a pitot tube or your altitude pressure sensor. Um, you know, they're they're not going to be susceptible to any type of any type of maneuver like that, whereas this is gonna be susceptible to that, but this is not gonna, this doesn't care about your air pressure. You can put this inside your airplane where your fan is affecting it and everything else and it's still gonna be accurate, but uh, you have to think about your orientation. So let's go ahead and take a look at setting this up and seeing what we see. Okay, so as with all sensors, the first thing we need to do is go into our transmitter and tell it what channel this sensor is gonna be plugged into. And we're gonna change that channel to a smart port from a regular channel. And so I've plugged in the sensor into channel 10 of my SR10 receiver. So we're gonna to go to the model screen. We're gonna to go to RF system, and we're gonna scroll down here to our receiver, our SR10 plus is the one I'm using now. And we're going to press set and choose options. And that then allows us to access all of the channels on this receiver. And you'll see here, uh, number 10, I've already got set as a smart port because I've been setting up all of my sensors on that. So you don't always wanna make sure that that channel is set up as a smart port. And of course, when we put this in the aircraft, we can daisy chain all those different sensors off that one channel, or you can plug them into different channels if you you know wanna have those on maybe their own switch or something like that. But if you're just gonna have them on all the time, you're not gonna have them on a switch or anything like that, then it's, it's really easy to put them into one channel and then daisy chain them. So we've got channel 10 here set up as a smart port. So you always wanna do that to make sure that the, the radio recognizes that that channel is where my sensors are plugged in. Okay, the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna go over to our telemetry tile and tap that so we tell the telemetry system to look for and discover that new GPS sensor. So we're gonna tap on telemetry and you'll see we have all kinds of good telemetry coming back from this receiver. We've got battery information, we've got uh, signal strength. We've got some good stuff coming back here. We've got the other sensors that I've uh, connected, but I don't have hooked up right now, but you'll see there's no GPS sensor here. So let's go ahead and take a look. When we say discover new sensors, as long as we're plugged in, we're going to show we're plugged in here. We've got our light blinking. So we're plugged into channel 10. We've got this thing facing up. It's always important that that's facing up so that uh, it's looking at the satellite. Uh, if you have it upside down on your 
on your table or your workbench, it's, it's probably not gonna pick up very well. So always have that up. And then we're gonna discover new sensors. And when we scroll down, we'll see all the telemetry from that sensor. So you'll see now I've got some good GPS information coming back. I've got GPS altitude, speed, I've got my clock. It'll also give you GPS coordinates. Um, there's some really good information coming back here on this module. Now I can go through here and change these units to be you know, whatever I want. It can be metric or, or anything else. So like altitude, uh, if you don't want meters, just click edit on that, come to units and change that to whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to feet. So now I've got telemetry coming up in feet. I can also say what, you know, what uh, unit do you want? Do you want integers? Do you want decimals? I'm gonna turn it down to zero. So I just get whole numbers there. Uh, same thing with the speed. I can tap on that, edit it. I can come down and say, all right, I want miles per hour and I want uh, no decimals. So give me whole integers there. And now I've got uh, altitude and GPS speed and whole numbers. Now you'll notice, I'm getting a strange negative 28 feet there. I can actually set up a reset uh, switch so that that will always zero that out for me. By going in here and saying uh, edit again, I can come down to the very bottom and there's a place to assign a switch or a lever or knob to reset. I've got a certain switch here on my uh, radio. I use this for my reset switch and I actually put a call out on it. So I'll show you how that works. Tap. Tap that reset and then trigger that switch. Calibration. And I've got it set as calibration. So now it that will always zero it out. So now I've got my my altitude and my speed are set to uh, calibrate to zero. Um, speed is usually going to be calibrated zero because it's not moving. But altitudes, it's really good for that. So when I if I uh, it'll it'll adjust here in a second and find the the right altitude. Now I'm inside a building, so sometimes it's a little slow to to recognize. But when we go outside, we'll see it recognizes very good. So if I were to change locations and I want to always zero that that altitude out to be my ground level where I am now, that's why you might want that altitude on a calibration switch. All right, so here's an example of some of the telemetry that can come back. Uh, there's some really exciting telemetry that is available with these sensors and with your your telemetry receiver that uh, just really make the hobby a lot more fun and, and interesting, and you can really analyze your flight. So this is just a, a sample of a flight that I did recently, and you can see here I've sorted the uh, the, the the pressure and the pitot um, information's in gray. The GPS is giving me in the pink here. And so uh, you can go through and compare and see which has given me the more accurate and what do I think has given me a better um, uh, reading. And so you can kind of see how the altitudes uh, pretty much match up as I go along here and then they get pretty even. So you can see that uh, they're, they're coming in pretty good. But sometimes when uh, if I do some strange maneuvers, my GPS won't be very accurate, but my pressure altitude will look pretty good. And then over here, I can see that my my air speeds are pretty comparable between the two. So it gives you some uh, pretty good information here to use to compare. You've got vertical speed, you've got um, you know information here on your uh, GPS coordinates. So there's all kinds of really good information to make the uh, the flight uh, pretty nifty. And then of course you can graph the flight and, and and from this as well and do some really cool analysis. So that's an FR Sky GPS sensor. I hope you found this helpful and interesting. Again. Uh, Keep this up in your airplane and secure it so uh, it'll stay like that and won't flip upside down or anything. And you should get uh, pretty good telemetry, but it will act a little wonky when you go inverted for extended periods of time and, uh, and it loses its signal. So just something to keep in mind. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, throw some thoughts in the chat. Uh, happy to answer any questions we can. And give us a like if you found this, this video to be helpful. And otherwise, fly safe and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.